The best way to get better at programming is to practice. And in this example, we're looking at two sets of data and we want to find out who is in set two that is not in set one. As always, this sample file is available for download from the link provided in the description below. You can then follow along or pause the video and try to get it on your own. All right, so let's get started. All we need to do is figure out which person's in set two that's not in set one. In set notation, this is referred to as a difference. So I'm going to print set two dot difference and then pass in set one. When I go to run this, you notice it comes up with Karen. And for such a small amount of data, I can go and see that Karen is not in set one. We do see that Lori and John are in set one. So therefore that's why they were not shown. So this is a good little way of kind of checking that. Now, obviously if we had a large set of data, we wouldn't be able to check by hand, but for small data, we can always test. Now, how do we list people that are in set one, but not in set two? Well, we could come in here and basically reverse this. So just copy and paste and say set one, difference set two. And this gives us that information. So there you see it's a really easy way for us just to reverse that. So difference command does not change what's stored in a set. It creates a new set for us and that's why we're able to print it out. So just something to keep in mind when we work with our sets. A lot of times we don't modify the original one. If you like that example, please consider subscribing so you can see more examples and learn how to program better.